Wow! Today's science fiction heroines owe a great debt to Jamie Somers, a pretty young school teacher, also known as the Bionic Woman. Throughout the 70s, Somers was an idol to millions, and actress Lindsay Wagner even won an Emmy for this iconic role. Even though the Bionic Woman only lasted for two years, it amassed its own huge fan base. The show is still popular today and has its own culture following. Ever wonder what went on behind the scenes of the show? You're watching How They Changed, and here are some facts you probably didn't know about the making of The Bionic Woman. The show switched networks. Though the show was originally created for ABC, it switched networks for the final season, finishing up with NBC. This event actually made TV history. Richard Anderson and Marty Brooks were the first ever actors to play the same characters on two different series for two different TV shows. Jamie Somers was originally never even intended to become the Bionic Woman. The character started life in Six Billion Dollar Man as Steve's girlfriend, who actually died after a skydive went wrong and her body didn't accept her bionic implants. But audiences loved her so much, she was brought back from the dead and given her own show. Also, children's hospitals protested Jamie's death. If there is one thing that could bring a character back from the dead, it's a letter from a children's hospital. After views of the Six Million Dollar Man saw Jamie die, a Boston Children's Hospital wrote the studio a displeased letter. And it wasn't long before the bionic woman was back on our screens. Some inappropriate merchandise was made for the show. The show's producers were adamant that the bionic woman wasn't to be marketed in the same way as Barbie and other fashion dolls. But some toys did slip through the cracks which positioned Jamie as a fashion model rather than a strong action heroine. Jamie was named after a SeaWorld worker. Before he went to work on The Bionic Woman, creator Kenneth Johnson had worked on a production at SeaWorld, where he met a water skier called Jamie Somers. And he liked the name so much, so it was the first one that came to mind when naming his new character. Janice Whitby was told she could lose her job. The fanbots became some of Bionic Woman's most famous characters. To bring them to life, however, an actress had to have an uncomfortable plaster mold made of her face from which a skin-tight latex mask would then be made. That actress was Janice Whitby, and she was told she'd lose her job if she didn't agree to have the face mold done. Several dogs played the Bionic Dog. Jamie's pet bionic dog Maximilian, so called because it cost a million dollars to create him, was first played by a German shepherd called Bracken. Gradually, however, other dogs of the same breed had to be brought in to perform different canine stunts, like going into fires and jumping from buildings. And there may have been a lot of stunt dogs playing Max the dog on the bionic woman's set. But none of them were able to lick on command. Instead, Lindsay Wagner had to smear liver over her cheek to get the canine to come over and lick her. <laughs>